Hi everybody, it's Ted Pancoast. Welcome to the shop. Here's a tip for cutting high pressure laminate. If you've ever had to cut this laminate, like we do a lot, you know that one of the things that could happen while you're cutting it, if you're trying to use a table saw, is it can slide under the fence and be super dangerous. So to uh, combat that problem, I made this jig. A friend of mine named Guy Fiola showed me one of these about 10 years ago and I've been using it ever since. So all this is, is a strip of quarter inch MDF that I took some speed tape from Fast Cap and taped it down to a laminate strip. And what you do with that is, you set that under the fence, I'll try to do this one handed, and then when you're making your laminate cut, you put the laminate on top of that and so it cannot slide uh, under the fence. So it makes it really safe. I'll do it for you. One handed even. If I die trying this, you'll know it was a bad idea. You can see how easily that works. I even just do it right with one hand. So I get a nice straight cut out of it. There's a tip. A couple other quick things here. So the blade that I have on the saw is actually a solid surface blade. Uh, you can also use it to cut laminates and melamine. So it's a uh, specifically made for cutting laminate that way when you when you cut the laminate it won't chip really badly on the back side you get a nice clean cut the other thing you might have noticed is my jig is actually much longer than my fence and the reason for that is I actually have another saw that I use it on and that's this slider so and that's a very long fence you can see there now that uh, we need a long jig so here's what happens if you try to cut laminate on the slider without that jig. The laminate slides right under the fence and then it binds all up and it's really scary. But when you put the jig in place and you just set the laminate on top, now you can safely cut the laminate. So that's our tip for the day. I'm going to try to post some really good content of tricks I've learned over the last 20 years of being a professional cabinet and woodworker. I don't know if I'll make it daily, but I'll post a lot of them. I hope you liked the video. If you did, you can subscribe to our channel. Give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.